on. <clears throat> um, I was a little disappointed yesterday. My, I, um, I think I accidentally erased the first couple videos. So, the obvious answer is to do them again. It sucks because I was out of the first creative records. I was in the third creative records. Now I gotta go back to the first creative records. Boo hoo. Anyway, today's soundtrack uh, Umer Bile Tracks by Uzik from 1997. Some hip shit. So, first record Mahal Richard Abrams. Blues forever. Years is this? eighty-two. Yeah, this is. Uh, I mean, he's he's known as being an out player, but this is super bluesy, real together. There you go. I'm Black Saint. There's the one with the logo. Check that out. And I mean, this has got some really key players on it. Andrew Sidrell, Vincent Chancy, Bakata Carroll, by Kita Carroll, uh, Craig Harris, James Vance, Eugene G, Howard Johnson, Michael Logan. <clears throat> it's got some really, really dope shit on it. And it's something you should definitely invest your time in listening in. Number two, Montreux Suisse, or however the hell that's pronounced by air. Supergroup with uh, Henry, Dave Grill, Steve McCall, and uh, Fred Hopkins. And there you go. And this is what, 78? Oh my god, this record is incredible. You know, you know your um, introspective out there jazz super necessary and just amazing and thought provoking this is like a holy grail as far as like my albums go so all you jazz heads and just people in appreciation of sound you know something you can't afford to sleep on there you go from 95 AC alone the mic check single uh, this has got Mike Check, Headaches and Woes, Remix. And it's also got a posse cut called Feet Up on the Table. It's from 95. Uh, Vic Hop, it's featuring Vic Hop, Riddler, AC Alone, of course, LA Cool, Fish, Mark the Murder, and Abstract Root. Seek that shit out. There you go. Feet Up on the Table and Your Woman on My Lap. Blast off, lift off, put a twist off the cat. Um. Next joint. Super, very serious record. Um, AC Alone's first solo record. This is from '95, of course. It was on Capitol. Check that out. People don't make albums this introspective and thought provoking anymore. This is a fucking gem amongst gems. For real, for real. Something you should definitely spend your um, time and and really dig deep into because this album is just the shit. I mean, he cuts on hair, uh, headaches and woes, a rhythm meticulous, greatest show on earth, Nakiba, B boy, kingdom, no knots. That shit with Abstract and Micah 9. Abstract Root and Micah 9. Oh my god, dude. Anywhere you go, deep and wide, Mr. Outsider. I mean, they just don't make albums like this nowadays. You know. And last one on the pile. A Book of Human Language by AC Alone. It's from 98. Accompanied by Mumbles on production. No guest. Straight 20 tracks, all AC alone, 
on vocals, mumbles on production. And it's a story. And this was the follow-up. This was the sophomore record, like I said, about the last album. People don't make albums like this nowadays. Shit is beyond comprehension. Something you should dig deep into. This is a good book. See, he's pulling out black fiction. This is a good book is what this is. You know? And it's really unfortunate because the source gave this shit two and a half mics. It was one. Point of reference. Rap music in 98. It's a bunch of bullshit. Think of where the culture was and what was being, you know, shoved down people's throats. They're not going to broadcast and gravitate towards something like this. It's a little too thought-provoking. His rhyme style is straight ahead, but it's what he talks about. He gets you to think about life. But anyhow, shout out to the uh, shout out to Project Globe, Good Lifers, yeah, shout out to all them cats. Um, shout out to the jazzers, shout out to the rockers, shout out to the hip hoppers. I don't like cops. And I'm out.